Hello. Ah, hello, Elaine. I must have fallen asleep. What did the doctor say about Josh's cold? An allergy. Oh, don't tell me we have to go through those tests. Oh, oh he didn't. <laughs> He's such a character. Yeah. Give the kids a kiss and tell Josh I hope he feels better. I love you too, baby. Sleep tight. my condo in Hawaii. Get yourself together. I'm fine. Claudia, I said I was fine. Claudia, I just need now to get back to work. Really, I'm okay. I think the best thing for me to do is to go right back to work. Call Blind for tell him I'll be there for our usual. I've already booked someone else. Well, unbook him. I need to get back to work, Lil. It's going to be the only way I can forget Stephen. of art from Italian Renaissance to contemporary. A book on American history covering the First and Second World Wars. What am I in school? Uh-huh. Worse. 
cookbook on wine, a gourmet cookbook, and two current bestsellers. Start with these. I'm having a small dinner party this evening. Ambassador Farnsworth will be here. I'd like you to be there. An ambassador? Mm -hmm. Oh, what do I say? Learning how to be a good listener is the key to being successful. You have to make him feel that you're interested in him. Or ask him questions. What kind of questions? Well, there's an article on the ambassador in this magazine. Study it. Okay. If a man trusts you, he'll tell you his innermost fears and secrets, things he can't tell anybody else, not even his wife or his best friend. Then why would he tell me? Because you're going to allow him to feel vulnerable with you. Well, what should I wear? It's up to you. But Lil! So it's just a minute. The work you've been doing on the international it sounds fascinating. Have you been doing it for a long time? Well, for a couple of years now, but it's going to take a long time to get it really going. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, you know, people are very good. I remember that. However, someone I know, our Constitution says that a man is innocent. You've had such a fascinating life, meeting all those people and living all over the world. Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, thank you. That's nice of you to say so. I consider myself very fortunate. I've managed to be in the right place at the right time and have the right connections. I've worked on this one. So everything in my life has really gone the clock. I think you've had enough to drink. I just had one glass of champagne. I can handle it. I stopped counting after the fourth. I thought you were quitting. I am. I'm just having a good time. Enjoying your hospitality. Sorry, I just, I just couldn't do it. The last ten years of Picasso's life were his most prolific. Some people think his earlier works were his best. The blue period? What do you think? Well, I'm not sure, but I think I like his later work better. Why? Because it looks like a kid did it. <laughs> and I'm sure when they see the price, they'll think their kid can do it. <laughs> I studied hard. Never thought I'd like it. Hello, Lil. Senator. Good to see you. How's the campaign? Oh, terrific. You know my wife. Hello. Hello. Sharon, how, how are, are you? Hello. Julie Tyler, Senator and Mrs. Wells. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Julie, it's a pleasure. I sent you an invitation to the charity ball for the Children's Foundation. I hope you can come. 21st. I'll hey. be there. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet see you. you. He liked you. How can you tell? Well, I've been a senator for many years. One look tells me all I need to know. His wife was standing right there. Sometimes I forget how young and naive you are. Men like the senator, high-profile men, have a lot to lose if they're seen with a working girl. That's why I'm so successful. Who does his wife think you are? A wealthy divorcee.
She's probably suggesting to the senator that they fix you up with their son. <laughs> Discretion. That's what they pay for. And my reputation is only as good as the girls working for me. It's a small town, Julie. One act of indiscretion spreads through this town like the latest rumor of who's running a studio. Lil, I know you think I'm young and naive, but I'm not stupid. If I thought you were stupid, you wouldn't be working for me. Lil, oh. Tomorrow morning, a limousine will pick you up at 9 o'clock. Limousine. I've never been in a limousine. The car will pick you up at 9 o'clock in the morning. You'll be driven to the airport, where a private Lear jet will be waiting for you. You'll be flown to Acapulco, where a driver and limo will be waiting. They'll take you to the harbor, where a speedboat will take you to a private yacht. Your host for the next four days will be Peter Danner. He's been a devoted client of mine for years. He's hired you for his son, Justin, who's just turned 18 and is still a virgin. You'll be his first. And Peter wants it to be very special. Like you to meet my wife Terry and my son Justin. Julie's the niece of my East Coast rep. Hi. Hi. Justin, why don't you show Julie a room? Uh. Well, go ahead, Justin. Her room's the one next to yours. Okay. Is this your dad? Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's, it's okay. You must think I'm a real country bumpkin. But I've never seen any place like this before. Well, except for in magazines. Oh, this is the most beautiful place in the world. Yeah, it's okay. Well, you've probably been here so many times, it doesn't matter to you. How old are you? Uh, 23. No, you're not. I can tell when people lie. I'll be 19 next month. Why? I'm, I'm just curious. Uh. Uh, why'd you get, uh, get changed into something more comfortable and, uh, unpack and everything and, um, uh, I'll meet you up on deck, okay? The what? Seven weeks pregnant. I saw Dr. Davis this morning. How could anyone as smart as you get pregnant? I don't know, Lil. It was an accident. I, I didn't plan this. Yeah, how could you be so stupid? <laughs> that boyfriend of yours, isn't it? Boyfriend? What are you talking about? It's Lynn Culver's. I know it is. Don't play this game with me, Wendy.
give you what you want. Ooh, I don't think you're a man enough. <laughs> man over there wants to see you. <laughs> what? Mm. I think I'm just having a little fun. You're drinking too much. I want you to stop. I'm not working tonight, well. I can do what I want. You're making a fool of yourself. You're playing around with some guy you pick up in a bar? <gasps> Well, maybe I feel like being generous. Can I tell you I gave it away for a $10 bottle of booze in San Francisco? Why not for free? It's all fake the same anyway. Only some soccer pain. Right, that's it. It's over, Claudia. You're not working for me anymore. <laughs> you know, I don't know why I was so many years on you. I thought you had some potential, had some class. Nothing but a hooker. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm fine. My father and Terry have been married for three years, and before that, um, he was married to Denise, and they were married for a couple years. And then, then there was Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> How many times has your dad been married? Uh, four. Oh, beats my daddy, son's third. <laughs> what, what about, about your mom? mom? Uh... <laughs> Go ahead. There you go. <laughs> um, two down, and she's working on her third. What about yours? Well, um, after my dad, really no one. She really doesn't even go out anymore. She says she has me. That's all she needs. Um, that's a drag. There must be a lot of pressure on you. Hard to believe she's, uh... I mean, she seems so sweet and innocent. That's what I'm paying for. Why would you do it to him? He's just a kid. His first time is something he'll remember his entire life. I want it to be the best. Senator Wellesley. When will he be back? No. I'll, uh, I'll call him then. She insists you're expecting her. I wanted to apologize for my behavior. Last night, I, uh... Yes, sit down. This morning, I felt awful. I, uh... I didn't remember what happened last night. You know, it's just a blur. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am having one too many. If you can give up the booze. Give you another chance. I will. I promise. One more step up. I never want to see you again. I won't disappoint you, Lil. I promise. Oh, uh, a friend of Senator Wells called. He's coming in tomorrow. He's heard a lot about my girls. What's the best? I thought Wells was Wendy's. I'm pulling her for a while. She's studying too hard. Flaking out on me. So, who is he? I'm checking him out. I'll give you all the details tomorrow night. Interested? Yeah, if you want me to, of course, Lil. <laughs> 